Good evening, everyone. I am here with little Leasia. And as you can hear, she keeps crying. And I was coming on to do a changing video. But I guess we're going to have to feed her first. So I'm going to use this bottle. I have some warm water in there. And I'm going to make her formula. And I'm going to be using this formula. And it's by CVS brand. And it's tender formula, infant formula with iron. And that is what I've been using for her. Because it's gentle on her tummy. So let's make her some formula first. Because she is being difficult because she's hungry. So she's not going to let me feed, I mean change her without feeding her first. And I think she is quieting down so that's good. So I'm going to use one scoop and then a half because I have like three ounces of water and she doesn't really drink four ounces yet. So I usually do three ounces for her and I don't want her to start crying Oops, before I can say it. I don't want her to start crying and crying because sometimes then she won't drink it. She'll get all angry and she won't drink anything. Right, Liaison? I'm going to just put her little owl bib on her. Come on, Liaison. Calm down. Calm down. See, Mommy's going to feed you. She knows I'm putting the bib on her. So... Usually, when she gets that bib on, she knows the bottle is coming. So then she quiets down. Right, little girl? You want mommy to hold you? Say, pick me up and feed me, mommy. Let's turn you guys this way. And I don't want to put her on my jeans. See what you can see. And I hope my light isn't too bright over here as usual because I'm in my bedroom and I'm on the bed. So it's like right near my light. So I hope it's not going to be too bright. And of course the phone is ringing but I can't get it because this little girl wants to eat. So I will have to call back whoever it is. But she really likes this formula. And this formula, matter of fact, I got it about two weeks ago and it was on sale for five dollars and I think forty-seven cents at CVS. So that was definitely a bargain because the regular price, I think the regular price was like $17.99 so I would say $5.47 was pretty good for infant formula <laughs> I would say and I'm not going to give her all of this bottle I just want her to calm down a little bit and get a little of it so I can change her clothes and I don't want her to spit up so I'm not going to feed her all of it because she will drink all of that bottle. Right little greedy baby. So I think she's okay now. She had a little taste of her formula. So hopefully she'll let me change her. And it is cool in Georgia again. I thought it was springtime, But now it's like it turned back to winter or something happened with the weather so i had all the babies in rompers and onesies and everything like it was summer and now the weather fooled us and it's cold again so everybody has to go back into something warm so 
So I'm going to put her in this little owl outfit with little hearts all over it and a little bow. And this is Just One You by Carter's. And it's a three months. I'm hoping she can fit it. It looks kind of long. But it has the little footless pants and the little snaps right here. So that's what she's going to put on. And I'm going to use gray socks because I want to throw off some of the pink. And one of the little owls are gray. So I'm going to use gray and a gray headband. And then I'm going to just use this little nook passy with the tiny little nipple. And I really like those little nook pacifiers because those nipples are so small. And I'm going to change her into this pamper first. That's what I'm going to do first. And I'm going to use one of these water wipes. These work good for her. Um, they don't irritate her skin. And they're really natural, chemical-free wipes. For anybody who would like to use wipes on their babies, but usually you're scared because of the chemicals in it. These are just basically water and fruit extract. So they're really gentle and natural to use on your babies. And excuse any girly bits if you see anything. Because she is um, anatomically correct, a girl. Her little belly plate. So, that's what I've been up to with the babies in the past couple of days over the weekend. I was just changing babies into warmer clothes. Um, and a lot of them I changed off camera. Because it got so cold in my house. Like, it just went back to winter. So... As I said, sometimes I change my babies off camera as well. And um, especially my silicone babies. I don't like them to be cold. <laughs> I can't stand when I pick them up and they silicone feels cold. So that's how I can tell when I need to put them into something warmer. So that's what I was doing. I was... um changing all the babies into something warmer I probably will just do a video and um show all of them at once that I changed and I just basically put all of them in pajamas or long pants or something so I'm going to leave this little t-shirt on her her little snap t-shirt. I notice I've been using these little snap t-shirts now more than the onesies. I really like them more. So I have bought like two or three packs of these snap t-shirts and I've been just letting them stay in them or I will even put them on them under their clothes instead of the onesies. That's why I said I have to start using my onesies more because I haven't been using my onesies that much. And I have like a drawer full of girls onesies of all kinds and a drawer full of boy onesies of all kinds. And I hardly let the babies wear the onesies. And now I'm into these snap shirts so they really not wearing the onesies. So whenever the weather gets nice again, I have to definitely let them wear some of my onesies I have for them. Because those onesies are just sitting in the drawer. And as I said, I noticed the onesies, like, they keep changing the, um, little, the little things on them. So if you hold those onesies too long, they go on to the next theme and then the ones you have are like out of date if anybody else noticed that <laughs> so I'm like I need to start using up some of these onesies I have before they can't wear them so let's see how this is gonna fit this little girl she's very chubby 
but she's not that long. She's like um, 20 inches, but with her legs bent, she's more like 18 to 19 inches. So she will tend to fill out the clothes with her weight, but then if it's too long, it's going to be really long on her. She's a little shorty, right, Leasia? And for those who are watching my videos for the first time, this is like my favorite silicone baby in my collection so far. My mo one of my most favorites, I must say. Um, this is Lee by Claire Taylor. She was produced by Claire Taylor and sculpted by Tina Cuey. Her silicone was poured by Claire Taylor. And she is just adorable. And she's also one of my most realistic silicone babies also. Um, just the way her silicone looks. It looks like flesh, like skin. Um, her, the way she sculpted her, her little hands and feet, her ears, her little nose, everything looks so realistic on this baby. And Tina Cuey, I like her babies anyway. And this baby, she just, the way she sculpts them, they really look so so realistic everything on the baby looks realistic her little cheeks and everything so she's like one of my favorite babies so far that i've collected my silicones i have a few others that i like also but i would say she was my first favorite at the top of my list and she's still pretty much at the top of my list <laughs> No matter how many other babies that I get, she's still like mommy's little princess. Right, Leasia? And of course, this sleeve wants to get all tangled around her arm. I tell you, long sleeves are so hard to put on them sometimes. It's like going around and around her arm. And it's acting up. And I have the tag stuck to her leg. Not the tag, the little plastic thing. And I'll be so scared I'm going to stick them with those. And of course it's stuck right to her silicone. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. Changing babies and switching around their clothes. I was switching the baby clothes to take out the summer clothes. And now, all of a sudden, I need it back out winter clothes. I'm like, okay. So, it's not quite spring yet. It's in that transition stage where you don't know what to put on stage right now. So, I'm not going to put away all the long sleeves just yet. Because the weather is not like knowing what it wants to do yet. And at night, it really gets cold at night. And I just can't stand thinking my babies are cold or you pick them up and their little silicone is all cold. I hate that. So, I was like, let me put them something on that will be nice and warm and cuddly on them. And she filled out this outfit, as I said. And it's not all that long, either. And it's a three-month size. Okay, let's see what I can do with her hair. I was supposed to be rooting this baby some different hair. Because I rooted her this hair, and I can't stand it. <laughs> it is too straight, and it just does not stay done at all. I need something that's not so straight on her. Where you don't have to fix it every minute. Because this just drives me crazy. Because now see how it was nice and neat. And now I put the headband on it and it messed it up. I definitely need to find her some hair that I like. Because this hair is really a pain in the neck. 
and it's really soft and everything it just doesn't stay done it just messes up when you try to put the headband on it let me try to wet it a little bit maybe that's the problem because it just gives me a hard time this year And I hope my camera is still recording because I have not checked it. Yep, it's still going and I need to hurry up. I think it says 15 minutes already. The video is getting long and I don't want her to start crying again for the rest of that bottle. Right, Asia? Because in a minute she's going to want the rest of her bottle. Okay, let's try this again. I wet it a little bit. Let's see if I can slide this headband on. Yeah, that did help out a whole lot just by wetting it. Because other than that, it's flying all over the place. And now, all she needs is her passy. And this is the little nook passies and I just love these new little nipples they have on them and this one is the smallest nipple if you're looking for a tiny nipple for your silicone baby's mouth these are perfect they don't stretch out their mouth and they just are usually pretty easy to get in Cause some nook passies you try to put them in the silicone mouth and they always crook it no matter what you do these pretty much go in easy and they're pretty easy to, to maneuver so there she is guys let's see can you see her I can't see what my camera is seeing that's her little outfit her little chubby legs Miss Little Leasia. And I have my camera like sideways. But anyway, that's her little owl outfit. And this is the little silver owl. So she has her little silver headband to match that owl. And her little silver socks. And she's all dressed in nice and cuddly for mommy to hold her later and watch some TV. And so thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.